Sakai's gradebook provides many different ways in which you can view student grades. In this video, we'll become familiar with student course grades, how scores appear for individual assignments, the student grade summary, and how to hide parts of the gradebook for easy viewing. Let's begin with student course grades. They provide an indicator of how each student is doing in the course. In the gradebook, the column to the right of your student's names is the course grade column. Each of these grades is the individual student's course grade based on the items you've graded so far. The crossed out eye icon appearing here in the top cell of the course grade column indicates that the course grades are not currently visible to students. When you're ready to release the course grade to students, perhaps after grading a few assignments, click the crossed out eye icon and select Edit Release Settings. Alternatively, you can click the Settings tab at the top of the page, then click Grade Release Rules, and place a check next to Display Final Course Grade to Students. Additional options appear, allowing us to select how we'd like for students to see their course grade. I'll leave the default selections, letter grade, as well as percentage to give students a little more information. If you use a total point system for course grades, you can select points to display points to students instead. OK. We'll click Save Changes, and then the Grades tab to return to the gradebook. Let's take a look at how scores appear for individual assignments. If you've organized your gradebook with categories, a color bar showing the category groupings appears here across the top of the gradebook columns. Sakai groups gradebook items under their respective category colors. Under the category bar are columns for each individual gradebook item as well as an additional column for each category, which shows the category average for each student. For example, Fred is doing well in his homework assignments. The average of his three assignments in the homework category is 90%. If you elected to have Sakai drop the lowest score in a category, the gradebook provides a visual indicator to let you know which particular grade is dropped for each student. For example, in this course, I've asked Sakai to drop the one lowest score in the quizzes category for each student. Let's take a look at the scores for Sandra. She received an 80 on the first quiz and a 100 on the second quiz. The lowest score, the 80, has been dropped. Sakai indicates it has been dropped by striking through the score and displaying diagonal gray bars in the score cell. What if I'd like to see all of the grades for one student? For example, Adele's grades. I can quickly find her by typing her name in the search field above the student's column. Then I can use the horizontal scroll to review her grades. Or I can click her name to see a one-page summary of all of her grades and any instructor comments I've made. From this student summary, click the Student Review Mode tab to see what Adele can see when she clicks on the gradebook from the main menu of the course. She can see the gradebook categories, her category averages, all of her gradebook items, her scores, and any comments that I've made. Notice that when you're in student review mode, the rest of your screen is blurred. This can be useful when reviewing grades with a student in your office because it keeps the other student's scores private. When you're done reviewing the grades, click Done, and Sakai warns you that the full gradebook will become visible, as you'll see when I click Continue. Here's a few tips to help you as you work in the gradebook. If you set up your gradebook utilizing categories or categories in waiting, Sakai organizes gradebook items under their respective categories by default. You can toggle this feature off and on by clicking the Group by Category button here above the gradebook. When Group by Category is off, the gradebook items are organized by due date. If you have a large gradebook that contains many gradebook entries, you can streamline your view by displaying specific items or categories. In this example, I want to see just the project's category. I'll click the View Columns button and then Hide All. Looking down the list, I'll locate projects and click the square to the right of it to display this category. Now I see just the project's category and all of the gradebook items assigned to it. I can toggle this feature back on by clicking the View Columns button and selecting Show All. It's important to note that hiding items only affects the instructor's view of the gradebook. Your students will still be able to see all of the items you've released to them, 
Also, any grade book items you hide will remain hidden even if you log out and back into Sakai until you make them visible again. A trick that can help you determine whether or not you're viewing all of the gradebook items is to check to the left of the View Columns button to ensure Sakai is showing all columns. The Item Order button allows you to view and organize all of your gradebook items. Click, hold, and drag an item to move it to a new location. Note that any changes you make here only affect the instructor's view of the gradebook. The Bulk Edit button allows you to see at a glance which gradebook items are released to students and which are included in the course grade. You can easily make updates if needed by checking or unchecking the selections for one or more gradebook items. Then click Save Changes. Sakai provides many options for reviewing your students' grades. If you need assistance while working with the gradebook, please contact sakaihelp at durhamtech.edu.